Hello guys, what's up? Yes, I got Emmanuel G. Jong. And in today's video, we're going to see how to change five permissions and ownership in Linux. This is a continuation of my previous video. Before I start, please make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also make sure that you turn on the notification bell so that next time I post a video, you'll be the first person to be notified. I'm going to do an LX-L and it's going to list all the files and directories that are under my current working directory right so as you can see i do have two directories i have an app directory and i have an infra directory and i do have two files as well i have an app.py and i have my underscore by.txt right on the left side you're gonna see the permissions that are attached to this directory right here and you're also going to see the name of the owner of this directory and the group this directory belongs to. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to change owners, right? For example, this directory right here is owned by Ubuntu, but we wanna change it to Emmanuel. So we want Emmanuel to be the new owner of this directory. So if you wanna change the owner, you will use the command sudo change owner like this, change own, and you will specify the new owner in this case is going to be Emmanuel Gijo. Then you specify the directory and you will hit enter. Now if I do LX-L, you'll see that the new owner of this directory app is now Emmanuel you know, Gijo. And you can also change the group as well. And let's change the group. So let's see the groups that are on our system. So I will do a cat slash etc slash you know, groups and I'll hit enter. So I want this group DevOps to be the new group of this directory right here so in order for you to do that you're going to do a sudo change owner you're going to use this sign and you're going to specify the new group devops space and you specify that directory app then you hit enter if i do an lx l you're going to notice that the new group is now devops right now let's change this file right here let's change the owner of the file so i want the owner to be alice so i'll do a sudo change own and I'll say Alice Johnson and I'll specify the file which is app no dot pi and I'll hit enter. Now if I do an LX dash L, you'll notice that the new owner of this file called app is now Alice Johnson. Now we also want this file to belong to the group Alice. I'll do a sudo change owner and I'll put colon and I'll say I want it to be Alice Johnson and I'll specify the name of the file. In this case is app dot and I'll hit enter. Now if I do an LX dash L, you'll notice that the new owner of this file is Alice Johnson and the new group is Alice Johnson. Now what if you want to change the owner and the group at the same same time like for example this infrastructure right i want the new owner to be a manual and i want it to belong to the group devops for example so you simply do a sudo change owner then you specify the name of the new owner in this case it's going to be a manual underscore gijo then since you're changing the owner and the group at the same time you use a colon and you specify you know the group devops and you specify you know the directory infra you hit enter so it says change owner sorry i made a mistake with the command right here so i'm going to correct this and i'll hit enter now if i do an lx l you're going to notice that the owner of the file has changed to emmanuel gijon and the group has changed to devops so let me clear my screen let me do an lx l and now what if you want to change you know permissions right so as you can see right here uh the owner emmanuel gijon has the permissions to read write and execute while the group has the permission to read, write, and execute. And others, that's any other user on our system, has the permission to read and execute. Now, what if we want the group to only have the permission to read and execute? We don't want them to have the permission to write. We can do that. So we're going to use the command sudo change mode. Since we're changing five permissions, we use the change mode. Whenever we're changing file ownership, we use the changed ownership command. But if we're changing the file permission, we use the change mode. So I'm gonna do a changed mode. I'm gonna hit space. Then I wanna change the permission of the group. So I'm gonna do a G. G means group. And what I wanna do is I want to remove the right permission. So I'm going to do a minus and I'm gonna specify the name of the permission that I want to remove. In this case, right. I'm gonna hit space. And I'm gonna specify, you know, 
know either the name of the file or the directory in this case is a directory called app so i'm going to say app and i will hit enter now if i do an lx dash l you're going to notice that the group does not have the permission to write so group now only has the permission to read and execute and others have the permission to read and execute as well now what if we don't want others to have the permission to execute so we only want them to have the permission to read right so you simply do a sudo change mode and you want to change the permission of others you know that's o and what you're doing is you're removing it so that's a minus and the permission you're removing is the execute permission and you're removing it on this directory call that i'm gonna hit enter now if i do an lx dash l you're going to notice that others already have the permission to read but they don't have the permission to write and execute right now let's move to a file let's do the same thing for a file looking at this file right here you're going to notice that the owner alice johnson only has the permission to read and write then why the group has the permission to read and write and any other user on our system has the permission to read so we want alice to have the execute permission on this file right here so you simply do a sudo change mode and you specify u u stands for user in this case is alice and since we want to add permissions we're going to use you know the plus sign right because we're adding the permission to the user alice so we're going to use the plus sign and we're going to give alice the permissions to execute right and we want alice to execute on this you know file right here called app.py then we're going to hit enter now if i don't lx dash l you're going to notice that alice now has the permission to read write and execute right as you can see the color of the file has changed and each time you give you know execute permission to a file uh, the color is going to change to this now this is not a guarantee with all the distributions out there now you can see that alice has the permissions to execute it means alice can now run this file on our system as if the file was a program now let's do something so we want the group to also have the permissions to execute right so i'm going to do a sudo change mode now we're dealing with the group and we want to give the group the permissions to execute on this file called app dot I'm going to hit enter now if i do an lx dash l you're going to notice that group alice johnson also has the permissions to execute right and others do not have the permissions to execute let's say we don't want group to have any permission on this file so we can do a sudo change mode group minus and i can take away the ability to read write and execute on this file right here and i'll hit enter if i do an lx dash l you're gonna notice that the group does not have any permission let's look at this file what if you want ubuntu to be able to execute this file as a program right so we're simply going to do a sudo changed mode then we're going to say user plus execute on this file we're going to hit enter so if i do an lx dash l you're going to notice that ubuntu now has the permissions to execute and this is the new color of that file you know we don't want group or others to have any permissions whatsoever so we can take that out so i can do a sudo changed mode group and i want to take out the ability to read and write on this file right here when i hit enter then i want to do the same thing for others right I'm going to hit enter. I want to take the permission for them to write. I'm going to hit enter. Now, if I clear my screen and I do an LX L, you're going to notice that all Ubuntu has the permission to read, write, and execute on this file. No other user can do anything on this file apart from Ubuntu. What if you want to change permissions using numerical values, right? So I want you to remember this little diagram that I'm going to draw. So I'm going to draw a little table where we're going to have the permissions, we're going to have the symbol, and we're going to have the number. So the permission to read is R and the number is four. It's a standard thing. The permission to write is W and the number is two. And the 
permissions to execute is x and the number is one no permission is like this and the number is zero so i want you to pay close attention to this right so now if i do an lx dash l and i hit enter you're going to notice that emmanuel jijon has the permission to read write and execute right so if you want to add this it's going to be read is four write is two that will be plus two and execute is one that will be plus one that will be seven so using numerical values the read write and execute is seven the group has the permissions to read and execute so read is four there's a dash right here meaning no permission is zero and execute is one so this permission here is five others that's any other user on our system has the permission to read and nothing else so it's four plus zero plus zero which is four so if you want to represent these permissions right here using numerical values it's going to be seven five four this is the permission right here what if we want to change this permission using numerical values right what if we want the owner to only have the permission to read and execute so we don't want them to have the permissions to write so the read and execute is it will be what so the read would be four plus we don't want them to have the permission to write that will be zero but we have we want them to have the permission to execute that will be plus one that will be five for others we only want them to have the permissions to read but we don't want them to have the permission to execute right so the, the read would be four plus zero zero that will be four then for any other user on our system we don't want no permission at all right so that will be zero 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 we should be zero so the new permission using numerical values would be five four zero right so let's try this out so i'm going to do a sudo change mode right and i'm going to say five four zero on this directory called app and i'm going to hit enter right so now if i do an lx dash l up here you notice that the owner emmanuel has the permission to read write and execute but down here you notice that the owner emmanuel already has the permissions to read and execute right they don't have the right permission you notice that group already has the permissions to read but they don't have the permissions to execute and you also notice that any other user on our system does not have permissions right so let me clear my screen let me do an lx dash l and you know let's continue for this one right here alice we want alice to have the permissions to read write and execute we also want the group to have the permissions to read write and execute and we have others to have the permission to read write and execute as well so we can do that right so for the owner i'm going to say owner we want owner to have the permissions to read write and execute so that will be four plus two plus one is equals to seven for the group we want the group to read write and execute so that will be four 4 plus 2 plus 1 would be 7. And for others, we want others to have the permission to read and execute. That will be 4 plus 0, right? Plus execute is 1. That will be 5. So the new permission for this 5 would be 775. So let's try. Here, I'm going to do a sudo change mode. And I'm going to say 775 on phi.app.py. I'm going to hit enter. Now, if I do an LX dash L, as you can see, Alice has the read, write, execute permission. The group Alice has the read, write, execute permission, something they didn't have up here. And any other user on our system has the read and execute, you know, permission as well. Now, let's move to this next one. Let's say we only want the user, Emmanuel, to have the permission to read and write and execute. No other permission should be given to the group and no other permission should be given to others, right? So let's do that. So in this case, the owner, we have the permission to read for the permissions to write to and the permissions to execute one that is seven group we have no permission so that's zero plus zero plus zero that is zero others no permission as well so that's zero plus zero plus zero that is zero so this is 700 the new 
permission. Let's try it out. So here I will do a sudo change mode 700 and I will do an infra and I will hit enter. If I do an LX dash L, you see, you notice that only the user Emmanuel has the permission to read, write and execute. Group has no permission and others have no permission as well. What if we want Ubuntu to have the permission to read, write, execute? What if we want everyone here to have the permission to read, write and execute? We can do that. Owner will be 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is 7 then group will be 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is 7 and orders would be 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is 7 so the new permission will be 777 7, 7. meaning that they all have the permission to read write and execute right so i'm going to do a sudo change mode 777 on my underscore file dot text i'm going to hit enter now if i do an lx dash l you see ubuntu has a permission to read write and execute uh group has a permission to read write and execute and any other user on our system has the permission to read write and execute that is how you change permissions in linux using the change mode command so guys thank you guys for watching this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe and see you in my next video